This is from my perspective, developing a successful career as an academic. This is just from my perspective. There are many perspectives to this. There are many gazes into the black box, let's call it. I'm giving you one gaze, and it's my gaze. Did I mention that your supervisor is your best buddy? The thing about a PhD or a master's is that the reason why you have a supervisor is the ideas are co-constructed. It's their job to work with you. And it's their job to make you feel everything that you have there is yours. Whilst I'm going on, you might not agree with some of the things that I say. Let's treat this like eating meat, bony meat. If you find something that you don't like, it's a bone. Throw it out, look for the meat, find the meat, grab it, eat it, make the most of it. Grab what you can use, use it for your own good. We very intentionally have these sorts of events to help students to realize that it's important to be proactive in their careers and, and an academic career is no different. People write to me and say, Prof, you, I want you to be my mentor. And I figured out that people just want to write, say I'm their mentor. So sometimes I go, yeah, yeah, yes, cool. Yes, I'll be your mentor. And then I chill. And three months later, the person writes to me, but Prof, I'm your mentee. And, and I said, so what? You see, you must set up the appointments. You must set up the agenda. Yes. And then I go, yeah, hey, you know, talking to, hey, talking to Christine is really, I really need to meet with Christine. I should also feel that I want to meet with you at some stage. But if you say you want me to be my, you want me to be your mentor, and then you do nothing, you can't blame me because you need the mentorship. You set it up to make sure that it works. You know the things that you need help in. Success is not a destination. We never get there. So the highlight, so I came here, it's the VC, she's got an honorary doctorate, she's this huge person. And to have her personalize her story in such an authentic and relatable way, I mean, she made references to, you know, her upbringing, Gokasi, the language, she brought herself to the table. It made me feel like I could still be me, get the PhD, and get to where she is. So she was an inspiration in a box of excitement. So my highlight from today, I think it was talking about the relationship that you have with your supervisor. I think uh, a lot of us sometimes feel like the supervisor is actually someone who bombards you with stuff, but it's really more about developing the study, developing what you're working on. Um, I enjoyed the topic on the supervisors. Not many uh, postgrad students know about that sort of relationship coming in. Many people talk about career in many spaces, but not for academics. It's almost like you become an academic if everything else fails. So. So it's important to talk about academic and academic career and young people get to know what it takes and they prepare for the, themselves now before it's too late.